Hey there, Discover Family Church, Pastor Johnny. I hope you're having a great Thursday morning, or maybe it's Thursday afternoon, or Friday, or maybe it's 2027 and you're watching this now. Uh, but wherever you are, I hope you're having a great day. I, I'm going to continue on in our devotions as we walk through Matthew, and I want to today I want to read you a couple of verses that you may have read before, and may have been confused by. Uh, and, and just sort of get an explanation on them. So today's devotion is just sort of a little dive into what this verse means because it's, it's a verse that you may have heard of or whatever, but Matthew 12, uh, verse 31 and 32. So let me read it to you. And he's talking to the Pharisees. It's key. Um, he says, Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. So if you speak against Jesus, you'll be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven either this age or in the age to come. It's a, it's a verse that, that that we've heard before, you know, like the unforgivable sin. Oh, you know, when I was a kid that we were always scared that we would commit the unforgivable sin. Uh, that there was something you could do that you would never find forgiveness from. And, and, and really what Jesus is speaking to, this sin that can't be forgiven, you gotta, you got to consider the statement that he's making this because he's doing it in a much broader context than just this verse. Um, he's responding to the Pharisees. Uh, you got to understand what, what he was meaning by this. See, the, the, he's responding to them because the Pharisees, uh, a couple of times, had basically claimed that when Jesus cast out demons, when he healed the sick, when he did these things, he wasn't doing it through the power of God, but that he was doing it through demonic power, that he was doing it through Satan. Like that they were they were saying, hey, not only they were basically going, hey, we believe that you're doing this, but you're doing it through evil, not through righteousness. And and, and this is the second time the Pharisees did this. They did it earlier in Matthew in chapter nine, but uh, in, in between that first time and this time, they have actually hatched their plan already to kill Jesus. During this time, they decided that they were going to to to, to have a conspiracy to kill him, to take him out. They didn't want him anymore. And so that happened between the first and the second time that they did this thing. And, and so whenever Jesus says to them, they're blaspheming, blaspheming the Holy Spirit, he understands something. Because this happened twice, and in the middle of that, they actually plan to murder him. And so he knows that, that, that they're saying that, that they're, they're, they're going after the, the, the Holy Spirit in this moment wasn't impulsive. It wasn't just a statement. You know, there are plenty of people that say, You'll hear, you know, atheists or agnostics. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. I, I, I hate Jesus. He's evil. You know, you know, evil things have been done in His name. These are statements that you'll hear sometimes, but that's what they are. They're statements. They're people that are making a statement. You know, sometimes it's impulsive. Sometimes it's just being naive, uh, and not, not completely understanding. But, but these are men that, that, that understood what they were doing, and they understood it enough to say, we want to not just. Uh, call him this a, a demon but we want to kill him in the process and and basically it was this determined course that they were on they were on a determined course of godlessness and it was uh, coming out of this in their heart a settled conviction this idea that that, that the servant that, that that God had put his spirit in his son, Jesus, was actually an agent of the very de demonic powers that Jesus came to defeat. That it wasn't a statement. It wasn't an impulse. They had settled in their hearts that he was actually from Satan. That he was actually complete evil. See, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, you know, the idea of the unforgivable sin... It, it isn't just saying something bad about the Holy Spirit or about Jesus. What it is, is it's, it's the unchanging conviction that Jesus is evil. Basically, in essence, the, the unforgivable sin is when you conclusively and completely reject 
Jesus rather than receiving him. So I say all that to say this. You guys can rest easy because you probably haven't committed the unforgivable sin. It's not an easy sin to commit because it's a sin that you commit when you recognize that he is Jesus and yet completely and 100% in your heart settle that that is evil. And so if you're watching this, I'm, I'm going to assume that you haven't settled in your heart that Jesus is evil. Maybe you're watching this and you don't completely buy into this yet. Maybe you don't understand the whole idea of this yet. But but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that you haven't settled on the whole, like, Jesus is Jesus, but he's evil thing. It's not an easy thing to do. But it does happen. And we see in this story where he points to the Pharisees and says, look, this is what you're doing. You, you are claiming that I am part of the evil that I came to wipe away. And you've settled it in your heart so much that you want to kill me. So today's devotion was not one that was super, uh, this was deep, but it wasn't super emotional. But hopefully it explained a little bit uh, of what Jesus meant whenever he was giving us the idea of what an unforgivable sin was. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great week. I can't wait for this weekend for church. And uh, we will talk to you very, very soon. Have a great day.